Young working dog trainer Sam Gates had his dogs on show at the Gates Performance Genetics Field Day at East My High, Urala, in December. He and his father Rick have been training dogs for years and recently sold two dogs for $9,000 and $8,500 at the Dundee Dog Auction. Yeah, so um, Dad's been breeding dogs for oh, probably 20 years. Um, pretty renowned for good dogs. I've come in and um, cottoned onto a few of his tails, I, I suppose. Um, and then I've been breeding for the last few years. Um, the dogs we have now mainly bred for our for our own purposes, but um, they also surplus dogs that um, I no longer need, but are, but are very good dogs for, for a lot of people. Um, I, I sell into the market, and and um, they, they do a good job for a lot of a lot of farmers. Yeah, so I, I breed a lot of strength into my dogs. Um, they need to be calm in their work. They need a lot more work done. Um, the stock react off them a lot better if they're calm, as well as um, if, they're, if they're calm in their work and can do the job with minimal effort, you can get, get a lot more work out of them and um, they can do it day in, day out. Um, so, so being able to work cattle and sheep, they, that, that calmness and strength really, really work. They really have to have it. Um, I start, start my pups sort of eight weeks, show them. Um, as they get a little bit older, the jobs get more and more, um, more, more and more difficult. Uh, by six months, they sort of got sides and you can, might be able to go do little jobs with them. And then as they get to 12 months and 18 months, they, they get fully trained and, and the jobs get more and more difficult um, with, yeah. So they might go work cows and calves or, or um, as they get to 18 months and they're, and they're more, more mature and able to handle the work. So the dogs I breed, um, I try to, try to breed a versatile dog that can work cattle, sheep, paddock, yard, truck, shearing shed, whatever. Um, for, for producers and farmers, um, they don't want a different dog, dog for every job, so that's what I'm trying to breed. Um, it's a lot to put into one article, but I think it's possible. But in saying that, there's obviously dogs that tend to um, sway towards each, uh, each work area. They might be better in the yard or might be better in the paddock. Um, more distance off their stock, more force. Um, they might be tougher and stronger, a little bit more bite for cattle.